Welcome back to another episode of How I Got The Shot. Today we'll be focusing on a swimwear editorial for one of my main clients in South Florida, Kiva J Swimwear. Let's start with the gear. So, so I shot with the Canon R5 and switched between the 24 to 70 and the 70 to 200. I used the 24 to 70 for most of the shots until I couldn't. <laughs> and when the subject was too far away, I just switched over to the 70 to 200. For lighting, I balanced the sunlight with the Photo B1X and I had a five foot octobox attached to that. And I also used a six foot reflector. Um, for the sake of speed, I ended up switching from the Pro Photo over to the reflector. It just was a lot easier to maneuver between locations. And just at the pace that we were going, it, was, it would've took too much to have to move the Pro Photo over here, move it over there, adjust my settings, so on and so forth. With the reflector, I could just underexpose the shot a little bit and add the reflector in. Having a larger screen makes it a lot easier to see what I'm doing and, and if I actually got the shot or not. So I tethered into a 15 inch MacBook Air using a cord from Tether Tools. I also had their Aero Sunshade. This would block out the sun and make it a lot easier to see my screen as we were shooting. It also makes it easier for my client to be able to see what I'm getting as we're going. The location we were shooting at faced the rising sun. So we had direct hard light almost immediately. Like right after the sun was all soft and beautiful, it became very intense and very direct. Uh, this meant that it was hot, but the intensity of the sun continued to rise throughout the session. I was constantly changing my camera settings and the angle of the reflector to get the shot right. When I tell you it was hot, it was hot. That is definitely one of the drawbacks of shooting swimwear in Miami or anywhere in Florida, honestly. <laughs> it was just, it, it gets hot. It gets very, very hot out there. The day started really early. When I arrived, it was still dark outside. Um, <laughs> this is not normal, but this is just what happens when, when daylight time, daylight saving times kicks in. You know, it shifts everything around. But yeah, but once I walked into the house, makeup had started on model one with Shelby Rose and hair with model two with uh, Vanessa from Gifted Hands. They both did an amazing job of creating the specific looks that Kiva requested. Like these two are trusted professionals. We always know like if they're, if those two are there that everything's gonna come out just the way that Kiva asked. I'm usually not on set when makeup is being done, but I'm glad I was because it gave me the time to speak with the models and get a feel for the personalities before we began. Uh, one of the models, Zoe, I had worked with her before, but the other two were new. Um, everybody was real chill though and real down to earth. So we had a really good time talking about life and laughing and you know, having, Having fun just getting to know each other, but also once we started shooting, it was really easy to execute the concepts. Now, from a creative perspective, um, one of Kiva's main thing is, is one, obviously seeing the full suit, but she likes her models to have a certain edge to them and make sure that they pop. And we're able to create that by using hard light and then we're using an oil on her skin. And when those two combine, you get this nice glow effect. It just really makes them pop out. Again, this is why using a reflector on the silver side was so effective. Bouncing sunlight back into the subject's body, even when the sun is facing the subject, adds another level of contrast. To really maximize this, I always underexpose the shot just a little bit. This ensures that when the reflected light does hit my subject, I don't blow up my highlights. You cannot blow out your highlights. At all costs, you must protect your highlights. And I confirmed this by taking test shots and reviewing them on the computer. I love this shot because it has an immediate impact and represents my style completely. Um, the drama is there, the high contrast, the rich colors, and it's also accomplishing the goal of the client. It's the hero shot, AKA the main shot to announce the rest of the editorial. So like when people see this shot, they know like, all right, the rest of the shoot is gonna be crazy because we got that hero shot. Speaking of which, here's a quick recap of the rest of the shoot. Now let's head over to capture one. As you can see straight out of the camera, the shot was pretty much done. Um, my, goal in cap my goal in capture one is to get my shots organized and make basic adjustments to enhance the image, but it's not for me to have to try to fix a ton of mistakes. Going shot to shot, you can see that once we got the image right, it was more about the models posing as a group in a flattering way. We were looking for a shot when everyone did something that shows the suit and also makes them look good. Like I always wanna make sure everyone looks good on camera. Once the client shows her shots, it's on me to take the images into Photoshop and add my touch. When I open the files in Photoshop, my main focus is to even out the skin, 
Remove any blemishes or temporary abrasions. Remove signs off the sliding doors behind them. <laughs> and, um, and sharpen the image. With three models, it does take a little bit longer than usual to edit. There's obviously there's three different faces, you know, six arms and six legs and three bodies. <laughs> um, but each person had their own things that I need to adjust to make sure the image appear quote unquote perfect. I didn't have to make any dramatic changes to the colors or the contrast because the image already had it out of right out of camera. Um, and even that and even that color that you see that's on the windows behind them, that was there when I shot it. That was it. This was definitely a long day on set, but a quick episode. A lot of the work was done on set, you know, trying to figure out the angles, figure out the lighting and really maximize the location. There is one thing that would have changed for this session. One, I would have had more time and that would have allowed me to go up to the fourth floor and get shots of the suits from that perspective. I really like creating these really, really dramatic shots and being that high up would have definitely put me in position to create something that has the editorial feel to it. But I'm sure we'll shoot there again, fingers crossed. Let me know if you all have any questions or feedback in the comments below. Leave a like and definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you're interested in my workshops or any of my one-on-one -on -one sessions, visit dobertophoto.com backslash education. I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep creating for yourself.